Spring can seem to get here fast enough, so I am here to help you transition from winter to spring with a great capsule wardrobe full of essential pieces that I think will help you get into the warmer season. Let's begin. A winter to spring transitional capsule wardrobe would not be complete without some base layers. Starting off here with a long sleeve tee. This one in particular is a heavy cotton long sleeve tee from Cause. I also love their merino wool long sleeve tees as well. This is also a little bit of a boxier fit, but you can also opt for ones that are more fitted. In either case, they make a great first layer like I've done in this first outfit. As we transition into a milder season between winter and spring, think about lightening up your knits. Instead of chunky, thick, overly warm sweaters, think of thinner layering pieces like a merino wool turtleneck or a breathable cashmere. Again, these are very versatile layering pieces that will serve you well as we move from colder weather into a warmer season. Pair these under cardigans, blazers, or short little jackets like I have done in this example. I love this semi-sheer merino wool turtleneck from cause it's one of my favorites i'd love to get it in more colors and i do think they still have it available i'll link all options below for you to take a look in case you need to do a little shopping but hopefully you can shop your closet first as these are timeless pieces that you are sure to have already Thin knit sweaters are my next key staple for a transitional winter to spring capsule wardrobe. I prefer crew and mock necks, but you can also opt for v-necks, and you can also switch between a long sleeve or short sleeve. Again, these are great layering pieces to wear with a variety of outerwear. This cropped camel knit is a favorite of mine. I picked it up in the fall season from Mango. Camel could be a year-round color, however, it does seem to be a heavier staple for the fall and winter season, but I wanted to show it here with a lighter color, and pairing it with pink is a perfect option for spring transition. These fabulous pink trousers are from Cezanne, and they are currently still available. I do wish they had belt loops, but I faked it and added a belt anyway. A metallic shoe is always a great versatile option. I have gold and silver pairs and I've been wearing them on repeat since last year. They're a great option to add to any outfit when you don't have the perfect color to match. Sometimes a hint of preppiness creeps into my outfits and that's why I've chosen polos as another key staple for my transitional winter to spring capsule wardrobe. Polos are also very on trend for the season. I love the collar detail in the V neckline and I prefer it without buttons or zippers like this beautiful knit from Lily Silk. In the late winter early spring season where it's still a little nippy in the air, you can easily layer a thin turtleneck under a polo for an additional bit of warmth. And as the season warms up you can layer a sweater over your shoulders in case you get a bit of a chill. A button-down shirt is a year-round necessity in a capsule wardrobe, but it's especially important for a transitional season as you can easily layer underneath or on top of it. On chillier days, layer your button-down with a turtleneck or a t-shirt underneath, or use the button-down itself as your first layer and put a sweater over on top of it. As we transition to warmer days, you can wear your button-down shirt as an overshirt over a t-shirt or a tank top, or wear it tucked in as I have in the example, layer a sweater over it or a cardigan or blazer. Whether you opt for stripes, as I have in my example, or just for a plain white button down, there are endless ways that you can wear this for the transitional season. Cardigans are definitely one of my most favorite layering pieces. The buttons create such versatility, allowing you to wear it as an open layer or to wear it closed as a top. Tuck them in, wear them loose, wear them with trousers to soften up a smart look. Pair them with faux leather trousers as I have in the example to add a little feminine touch to something very edgy and masculine. This Betty cardigan from Cezanne has become a new favorite of mine and I'm constantly reaching for it. It's definitely a great transitional item to wear from colder weather into the warmer season. As we enter early spring and the weather gets milder, I love to reach for my tapered ankle length trousers. I've always found the silhouette to be flattering on all body types. I think it's sophisticated, it's ladylike, and it's a great trouser that goes with almost any type of footwear, so they can easily be worn casually or dressed up. If it's still a little chilly and you don't want to show ankle, opt to wear them with a fitted sock booty like I show in the example. For a preppy smart style, 
style, opt to wear them with a sock and a loafer, and if the weather allows, opt to wear it with a sky-high heel or a ballerina flat. You can also include full-length trousers in this option, but to keep the video concise, I opted to go with my all-time favorites instead. We're about halfway through this video, so if you're enjoying it so far, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We're all about chic, feminine, sophisticated, and fashion-forward content here, and I think you're really gonna love it. All right, back to the capsule. Jeans are one of my most favorite go-to staples year-round, and I'm including my favorite pair here in this transitional capsule wardrobe. These are from Cause, and these are the arch jeans. I love the silhouette of this denim. They are relaxed and have a slight balloon leg but are tapered at the ankle. So everything I said for those white trousers holds true for these as well. Extremely versatile and can be worn with almost any type of shoe. I could easily throw a pair of straight leg jeans into this mix as well but I wanted to go for a more unique option. A silk or satin skirt is often associated with warmer weather, however I think it makes a great transitional piece as well. If the early spring weather is still a little chilly in your neck of the woods, opt to wear your satin skirt with some thermals or tights underneath, and pair it with some ankle or knee-high boots, and a knit or cardigan on top. As the weather warms up, feel free to lighten up those layers, opt for a thin knit or t-shirt on top, perhaps with a cardigan or sweater layered over your shoulders. I do prefer a Maxi, but middies are always welcome, especially if they have a slit on the side to show a little more leg. And speaking of showing some leg, I adore maxi skirts with a large slit. So in addition to satin skirts, I'm also including leather and denim skirts into my capsule wardrobe. Leather is a popular trend for the spring season, but it's always a favorite of mine. I usually opt for the faux leather kind as the real kind can be a little pricey, but I love the edginess and sophistication it lends to an outfit. I've combined it with a blazer in this look and I love how it turned out simply because the knit underneath is fitted, allowing me to show my silhouette. I think a denim maxi skirt can be equally as versatile and completely interchangeable with a faux leather skirt. Both are incredible options for the transitional season and I highly suggest getting your hands on either one or both. If you haven't noticed already, I am a big fan of cropped jackets, and so I had to include them in this transitional capsule wardrobe. The new love of my life is this cause cropped jacket that I'm wearing. I've worn the black one throughout this video, and I also have it in this gorgeous oatmeal color. I do think they are still available right now, so I highly suggest you get your hands on them because I definitely think these are going to be your most go-to outerwear piece as you transition from the winter to spring season. In general, I love cropped jackets because they emphasize that rule of thirds. Not only does it add to an elongating and leaning effect, but it also helps accentuate an hourglass figure. You can also include lady boucle and tweed jackets into this mix, but I did omit those for the sake of the video length, however they are included in this category. Blazers have really won my heart over in the last five years. There was a time where I associated them a little too much with corporate wear, found them to be a little too stuffy, but now I've really come to appreciate the versatility of a blazer, how it can be dressed up or dressed down, how it can be worn with a little black dress out to dinner, or casually with jeans as you see in my example. A blazer can truly take you from season to season, so I do think it is the perfect staple to add into your capsule wardrobe. This white linen blazer is from last summer, but I truly adore it and I think it's a great option to pull out as we get into the warmer weather and help brighten and refresh your wardrobe. I also think sticking to neutrals like beiges, grays, and blacks will keep them as workhorses in your closet. With spring comes a rainy season, so swap out those beautiful cashmere and wool coats for a trench coat instead. Through the years, I've searched high and low for the perfect trench coat, and finally last year I found one at Mango. This trench is definitely on the cooler side as I think it has a little tinge of green in it. I love how a trench coat can help elevate any outfit. Keep it casual like I did with trousers and white sneakers. Wear it with a smart look to the office. Or I think it looks chic with an all-black outfit worn out to dinner. 
For more fashion styling advice, make sure to watch this video here. I really hope you found today's winter to spring capsule wardrobe very helpful. If you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing if you're new here. Let me know in the comments below what you're most excited for this spring, and I look forward to chatting with you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Have a great week. Bye.